Hi everybody, my name is Casey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be talking about the July fishing tournament and how you can win all of the prizes for this tournament and any tournaments in the future. So I am just going to go ahead and put up a little infographic of all of the prizes that you can potentially win. So as you can see, you can win the anchor statue, which is customizable, the fishing rod stand, the fish drying rack, those are customizable as well. And then there are the fish door plates and the fish print. You can also customize those. And then we have the clothing items and the fresh cooler, fish umbrella, the wand, pochette, the marine pop wall, and then the trophies. Here is a little chart of all of the dates for the future fishing tournaments. So for this year we have July 10th and then the fall fishing tournament will be on October 9th for the Northern Hemisphere. And then for the Southern Hemisphere it will go ahead and be in winter on July 10th and in spring on October 9th. So the way the fishing tournament works is your first entry is free, but any entry after that is going to cost 500 bells. You can also choose to have a visitor come over and that fee will be waived. And for the fishing tournament, it is timed for three minutes and every fish you catch, you will get 1.4. So right here, I'm gonna just go ahead and start fishing. I definitely recommend if you have a more terraformed island, maybe try and terraform like a little lake or pond right next to resident services because time is of the essence in the fishing tournaments and if you want to get all of the prizes and trophies, you're definitely not going to have to spend 20 seconds running to try and catch a fish like I just did. But anyways, in order to catch a fish, one little tip that I have is when you see the bobber go down below the water, it will make a like kind of like kerplunk sound. That is when you should press on the A button on your Joy-Con or controller and then you will be able to catch the fish. So I will play that sound right here so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. If I could just cast the line normally, um, that is another important tip that I want to share with you all. So I hope that made sense if you need to go back and rewatch it. I think that's the more helpful tip that I could give you all is to be sure you're listening for that sound. And another tip I have is when you are casting your line, be sure to put it straight in front of the fish to save time and so the fish will actually look at it. And another thing that helps me when I'm fishing is I will just play with the sound on and not even look at the screen when I'm trying to catch a fish. Something to do with the like hand-eye coordination and like watching the fish, like you almost want to press the A button too early. So I would definitely recommend just kind of looking away for a second and as soon as you hear that sound of the fish biting on the bobber, that is when you can pull in your line. The next tip that I want to talk about is using fish bait. So for this first round, I am just fishing like I normally would without using bait. But as you can tell, certain areas are definitely harder to fish on. I would say the beach rocks are hard and the pier is a little bit tricky because you have to get kind of that perfect angle in order to have the fish even see your line. And so the next tip that I just mentioned would be fish bait. So you can craft fish bait by digging up manila clams on the beach. I will go ahead and show you all what it looks like and how you can find a manila clam. So I am just going to go ahead and grab my shovel and if you look at the sand right here you'll see a little spout of water that's kind of popping up. If you just dig in that area you will be able to catch a manila clam. If you do not already know the DIY recipe for fish bait, the first time you dig up a manila clam, your island representative will learn the recipe. So now I'm going to just go ahead and catch up with Flurry, see how she is doing. And I also just have kind of like a random side note, my island looks so much different in summer. I went ahead and time traveled to the summer one because I wanted it to be current with real time. So. Now I'm going to just go ahead and talk to CJ and then start another round. 
So for this round, I am going to go ahead and use fish bait and just show you all how much easier it is when you are using fish bait and how much time you actually end up saving. So in that first round I did for the fishing tournament, I caught four fish. So hopefully with using fish bait, I will be able to catch a little bit more. The one thing I do want to go ahead and mention is with the fish bait, you have to be like directly next to whatever body of water you want to use it on. Sometimes the game is a little bit weird with how your villager, or not your villager, your island representative is positioned in front of the water. So you'll actually see that right here when I get up to the water. I try to scatter the food and I think I'm close enough, but I'm actually not. So I just kind of need to reposition my island rep in order to be able to get the bait in the water. But once I finally get the hang of it, I see that there's a fish there, so I don't need bait right now. So let's see if we can catch this fish. And we can. I. What kind of fish is this? Oh yeah, it's a puffer fish. Those are kind of cute. So now I'm directly in front of the water, I'm just scattering some food and the fish will appear. So if you're trying to win all the prizes and eventually get the trophies, I would definitely recommend getting some fish bait. You can either dig up some vanilla clams, otherwise you can try and visit a treasure island. I know they have stacks and stacks of fish bait. So I would definitely recommend doing that. It definitely makes the fishing tournament a bit more fun because there are more fish that you can catch and you also don't have to run all around your island trying to find the fish whenever they randomly spawn. So now I want to go ahead and start talking about some more tips for the tournament. So you earn one point for every fish you catch but you get two points when you catch at least three fish and you can also exchange 10 points at a time for an exclusive fishing tournament item and then the trophies are earned for the total of points that you earn. So in order to get the bronze fish trophy you need at least 100 points, for the silver fish trophy you need 200 points, and for the gold fish trophy you need 600 points. If you can play with friends, I would definitely recommend that. You can play with local player or you can do it online. And when you play a challenge together with your friends, you get an additional bonus of up to 10 points for the fish you caught together as a group. And then the regular points you'd earn in a single player for your own fish caught are added as well to that total. So now there are about 30 seconds left in this fishing round. So I am just going to go ahead and catch this last fish because I won't have time to catch another one after this because sometimes the fish take a while to actually uh, bite on your bobber. And then I'm going to head back to CJ and redeem my points for prizes. So now let's go ahead and talk to CJ and see what he says. I know that you can sell the fish that you catch to CJ that are in your cooler. CJ will buy them for 150% of the normal price for them. So that is another incentive to participate in the fishing tournament. So now I want to go ahead and sell the seven fish that I caught. And I think it's going to be, yeah, around 6,000 bells. So that is cool. And then after this, I will go ahead and talk to him about exchanging my fishing tournament points for prizes. So in order to do that, you have to tell CJ there is something else. And then he will go ahead and give you the option to swap your points for swag. So I have 31 points that I earned today. So I will be getting the fish pochette I think that's how you say it so that's a cute little item and then he will keep asking you to exchange your points for more items so you can just continue along talking to CJ until you redeem all of your points for items and then as far as the trophies you will get those in the mail the day after the fishing tournament so just to go ahead and do a little overview of all of the tips I would definitely recommend going and looking for some manila clams and crafting a bunch of fish bait or like I mentioned earlier visiting a treasure island or maybe even using Nookazan to get some fish bait for the fishing tournament and then also playing with friends will definitely help you rack up more points in the fishing tournament. And also don't forget to sell the fish to CJ for 
1.5 times the normal price for them. Otherwise, I believe if you need them, you can go ahead and take them out of the cooler. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and the tips that I had for the fishing tournament. If you have any other questions or need any other help with the fishing tournament, please leave them in the comments below and I will be sure to get to all of the comments and answer any questions that you all may have. I hope you all have a fun time participating in the fishing tournament. I personally really enjoy playing it because it kind of gives me the nostalgia of the beginning of the game, you know, before we were all worried about making our islands look nearly perfect. So it's definitely a nice little way to kind of escape from the decorating and designing and just enjoy some fishing for a while. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I release new videos every week, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!